Hey everyone, I'm here with Mike Riley of the BC Lions. How's it going, Mike? It's going good. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. I'm pretty excited about this, man. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, we are here to open some 2020 Upper Deck CFL. Are you ready? I'm, I was born ready, man. Awesome. I feel like uh, this, is, this is my calling. So. All right, let's you do pack me, You want me to get one. started? All let's right, let's started. crack it open. I know you have lots of cards in here, too. So let's hope we... Uh, we we, we do have cards. quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me just cruise through these real quick here. Um, oh, okay. What do we got here? Let's see. Yeah, I got to set that one off the side. So I'm going to show you guys. Oh, that's perfect. First of all, this is the only time I want to see him is on a card. Jagera Davis, to be honest with you, one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the most feared D linemen in the CFL. Uh, I've gotten to know this man much better than I ever hoped I would uh, by the number of times he's hitting me and taking me to the ground. Uh, but that's pretty awesome, man. I got to say it was meant to be because my numbered card happens to be a teammate of mine, TJ Lee. Nice. Uh, he's going up uh, against uh, a team I have a lot of history with against Calgary, and it looks like he's uh, breaking a pass up. So TJ Lee, number 78 of 165, that's pretty sweet. I'm nice. going to set that off to the side. Awesome, yeah, it uh, hits the side, yeah. yeah awesome. Jagarit's Jager, going to go on the other side of the room. I was trying to keep him as far away from <laughs> Keep him in a separate possible. pile. <laughs> so, that's right. So, all right, so you're a two-time Grey Cup champion. How was yep. it winning your first Grey Cup? That was an awesome experience. Uh, unfortunately, it came pretty early in my career. I'd only been on the BC Lions for three quarters of a season in 2010. And in 2011, we won um we won the, the the one seed in the west hosted the west final won that we hosted the gray cup and won that i'm like man this gray cup thing is easy this is super simple to win uh because i was young and dumb and i'd only been in the league for a couple of years so I, I learned real quick after that the next year we lost uh in the west final to calgary and i went oh okay this is a little more challenging than uh <laughs> they made me think early on so oh my goodness this is uh so i got my oh there we go all right let me pull that one off to the side so this is uh, this is my favorite uh, pack of the two so far, simply because there's a lot of offensive linemen uh, who are my favorite. Hunter Stewart, by the way, uh, teammate of mine, shows up. I'm obviously going to keep that one off to the uh, side. Teammate side. Uh, got an old teammate offensive lineman, Colin Kelly. Uh, so O linemen always have a special place in my heart. So I'm going to just put him in the O line pile. But we have a, a jersey card here. Uh, good friend oh, of mine, Vernon Adams. Nice. Yeah, the, uh, the jersey card. So that's pretty sweet. So Vernon, um, awesome. he played at Eastern Washington. I'm a Washington guy. I went to Central Washington, and then he transferred to Oregon for his senior year. But he was coached by the same uh, quarterback coach as me and Bo Baldwin. So uh, that's pretty cool, man. I'm gonna awesome. I'm gonna hold this hostage already. from him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna text him later today and let him know <laughs> if uh, if he wants this. Too bad I'm keeping it. So. Yeah, second pack. We got a jersey. Second pack card. already. You can get the jersey card. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm lucking out, man. That's really good. Yeah. You did well already. Right. Let's go for this next one, huh? Let's see what we got. We got some defensive guys. All right. Okay, so let's see. Well, our numbered card is a special teamer here, um, Chad Rempel. With the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, nice. actually, I uh, met Chad a, a number of times. Uh, great guy, um, you know. Had a couple beers with him, so he's always going to be <laughs> on my uh, on my list of good people. Um, but the teammate of mine, Brandon Rutley, who great running back, great teammate, great friend. He thinks he's the best dressed player in the CFL. <laughs> and Rut, I know you got your own like fashion line and all this kind of stuff, but. Um, you're the, you, you might think you're the best best dressed player in the league. You're the second best dressed player on the team because you're behind me on that depth chart. So, yeah. So we're cashing in on some good ones right now. Nice. That's, you're doing really uh, well so far. Yeah. Happy to see that. Uh, Got to throw Rico Murray out there again. Um, pretty much anybody on the Hamilton uh, defense that uh, pops up on here is going to be a good player. Uh, they got a very good defensive crew. So uh, I'm gonna put him over here with you, Garrett, and tell him to stay away from me. So. <laughs> So how was it winning your second great cup then? Was it even more exciting or was it? Oh, it was. It was because I was finally the starter and got to, to have my hands all over that game. Um, you know, but it was also, again, because it seemed like it was so easy the first time and we went there so quickly. Um, and then it had been, you know, four years to finally get back to that game. 
um, to get to play uh, in, you know, at IGF Winnipeg stadium um, in a pretty cold game. I mean, obviously it could have been colder in Winnipeg in the winter time, but it was pretty cold and a hard fought game against Ottawa to finally just uh, be able to lift that trophy up and drink champagne out of it with my teammates in the locker room and, and uh, remember what it was like to be a part of a championship team was pretty awesome. So, um, awesome. you know, that, that was the high, one of the highlights of my career for sure. Um, oh man. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of uh, BC Lions in here. So my numbered card, uh, teammate of mine, I got another uh, BC Lions team, numbered man. card, Brandon Dozier. All right, so nice. he's making a tackle here, uh, safety for us, um, and uh, just a good dude. So that's cool to have that one. Uh, again, I got to throw out the O-lineman, man, Brett Boyko. He's going <laughs> to my O-lineman pile, guy that's uh, in charge of trying to protect me. Uh, and... A guy that I've never had uh, the pleasure of playing with, but I have a ton of respect for. I think everybody around the league does. Awesome player, obviously. Chris Van Zyl. Um, you know, again, I like the O-lineman cards. Maybe I'm weird for that, but uh, he's going in the pile too. Great player. So that's very cool. So how is it uh, knowing that you have some training cards in this box? Is it, is it cool? That's pretty that? awesome. Yeah, you know, growing up as a kid um, – you know, I, I had quite the collection of, of trading cards. And so the first year that I got an upper deck card of myself, um, I, I had a big box that, you know, you could get a box. I got, I had a box of like 150 of them. And I was like super stingy with giving them away. Cause I was like, that's my <laughs> first time I'm on a card. Like I, I want to keep these. And then like a few months later, I realized I still had like 120 cards of myself. And I was like, I don't know why I have this many cards. I need to start giving these out. But, uh, my dad, um, I usually give them to him. So I give all my cards of myself to my dad and I autograph, I sit there for a couple hours every off season, I autograph all the cards and then my dad takes them to the stadium. Um, and on game day, he'll go onto the concourse and he'll just find kids that are at the stadium watching the game and he'll come up and give them cards. Oh, so, he's, awesome. so there's a bunch of kids that, that uh, run around at the games that have my autograph <laughs> cards. So it's, he, he enjoys it, it's pretty cool. That definitely makes your day too. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know what, when, like I said, when I was a kid, even now I, I get excited about opening up cards right now, but uh, you know, when you're a kid getting an autograph card, man, I don't know if there's anything better than that. <laughs> All right. So we got, this is, yeah, we got another BC line or line. I, I I'm pretty upset that this is in my pack, actually. Gary Peters, uh, <laughs> teammate of mine. So we played for years together in Edmonton and we've been reunited in BC now. Gary thinks we're best friends. We're not Gary, but uh, that's okay. I enjoy picking on him in practice. I always know I'm going to get a free completion when I go against Gary, but Gary's a good dude. Good to see him in there. He's going to go into BC line pile. Uh, another defensive guy, another ex teammate of mine is my numbered card, Jordan Hoover. Uh, so we got a numbered card for Jordan. It's pretty cool to see, um, you know, guys that I've played ball with, um, you know, and uh, we got another O line, another great player, Mike Filer. Uh, one of the best in the game. So cool to see that. Uh, yeah, this, this, these are loaded, man. Even got Cameron Judge here. Um, you know, we got a bunch of good guys on, uh, good football players on. Uh, you definitely got a lot of your teammates, coming. which is awesome. Are you gonna, are you gonna yeah, pass your cards out to these teammates? And... <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a lot of uh, BC Lion and Edmonton cards. I've played with a lot of these guys, but um, like I said, Gary, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna send Gary's card back to him. I'm upset that they put that in there, but uh, the rest of them, like, uh, you know, like I said, Vernon's going to get a message from me, and and I'm going to hold this card ransom. He's not going to get to have that one. So let's see what else we got here. Oh, that one's I actually got two, two off the bat that I'm going to show you guys here. Um, so let's see which one was my numbered one. Where'd she go? Okay. All right. So we got Nicola. From Hamilton is the number card. I actually am not oh, familiar with him, nice. but uh, but there you go, forty four out of fifty. So that's kind of a limited edition. But the two uh, that I wanted to show you, old teammate of mine, my backup in Edmonton, James Franklin, uh, <laughs> who is now with Saskatchewan, but spent two years in Toronto. So that's I'm gonna have to message him later today and let him know I got his card. <laughs> and then uh, a guy that. People would be surprised to know this, but actually I'm, uh, I'm pretty good friends with Cleon Lang. So Cleon, I've never played with him, played a lot of football against him. Uh, people might be surprised to know that we get along quite well because I've been injured a couple of times by Cleon. Um, but I, I appreciate how he plays the game of football and plays it hard. 
Uh, maybe a little past the whistle at times, but I've had a lot of good conversations with Cleon. He loves the game of football. It's cool to see him on that card. That's so. awesome. That's awesome that you pull yeah. all these guys that, uh, that you know. Like, yeah. How, oh, yeah. how is it like when you're collecting when you're a kid and you're looking at all these idols and then all of a sudden you're looking at guys that you know from the locker room or you used to play? Yeah, with? it's pretty crazy. I mean, you know, you play in the league long enough. I mean, this is, I've been in the CFL for 11 years now. Um, so I've either played with or against pretty much everybody that's going to be in these decks of cards. But the longer you're in the league, the longer you get to know these guys, you meet their families and things like that. And it's, it's funny to see our, you know, yourself and other guys on these cards because, you know, they're, they're professional football players and they're people that, you know, kids and sports fans look up to and all this kind of stuff, but I know them on a personal level and they're, you know, they're humans to me, you know, they're people, they're friends, they're family, they're all this kind of stuff, you know? So it's, it's cool to see, um, you know, people kind of getting memorialized on a card, though. That That is uh, that's awesome. that's a pretty awesome deal. So, oh, here we go. We got, I think this is our first autograph card. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, first of all, um, again, got to shout out the O-Lyman. Uh, so we got Stanley Bryant here. He's obviously one of the best in the game. He's a big dude, uh, very athletic and a very good offensive lineman. Never played with him, but uh, he does a great job of protecting the quarterback, so I appreciate him. Uh, one of the tops um, uh, receivers in our league, Eric Rogers. I hate to say it because uh, he's a Calgary guy, and me having played in Edmonton for so long, it's always really hard to find anything good to say about Calgary <laughs> as an Edmonton person, but you still respect, uh, and he's one of the best in our league. So, uh, And then the autograph card, this is kind of fitting, actually. It's Ricky Collins Jr., who uh, it number 13 in Edmonton because uh, oh, nice. I wore that jersey for so many years, uh, but he's a very good player as well, and uh, that's our first autograph card, so that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Pretty you did really well that. so far in this box. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, like – I don't know if they just sent me like a loaded box because I'm opening them on camera, <laughs> but if they all uh, come like this, then uh, I think people are going to be pretty happy. So, so after uh, winning your first great cup, uh, did you guys go do something as a team or, or did you get to have the great cup? with you well so everybody kind of celebrates it a little bit differently but everybody celebrates it pretty much the same uh and that means you're going to go and and drink all sorts of different beverages out of the <laughs> cup uh just the location is going to change so the night that we won the, the game won the great cup um i was so emotionally and physically spent and tired um we went back to the hotel the team had a banquet hall reserved and and they had the open bar and everybody's taking pictures with it and everything like that um, so I spent time with my teammates and then everybody wanted to go out in Winnipeg and party with the cup. I was so tired. I went straight to my room and just crashed. I, I slept like a baby. Um, but the next morning we got up early, we flew back to Edmonton and uh, for the next five days, I don't think I slept five hours. We, uh, we were all over the town. We had a big, uh, not a parade, but a, a big uh, gathering at the square downtown. And there was thousands of people there. Uh, we took the cup to the casino, which was a favorite spot of ours and celebrate. I mean, that cup was all over the place, but I was able to actually take the cup individually to a couple of, of hardcore Eskimo uh, fans that were business owners around the city um, and just got to sit and share some stories with them and take some pictures of the Grey Cup. So that was, that was a lot of fun. That was nice. a good time. That was awesome. Oh boy, look at this. Okay. That is quite the deal. All right, um, so here we go. Uh, again, I throw out the offensive lineman, shout him out. This is an ex-teammate of mine, Thaddeus Coleman, big Tad, as they call him. <laughs> offensive lineman for Saskatchewan, but we played together um, in Edmonton uh, for a number of years. Uh, and then we got Brandon Revenberg, also an offensive lineman, and this is our game patch uh, card. So that nice. is pretty slick, man. If you see uh, your top left, it's actually number 25 also. It is. So, so it's a number and a, and a, uh, and you know what? There Gosh. should only be 25 because this is, this is quite the thick card, as you can yeah. see. Um, you know, so this is, uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Nice Again, I'm glad it's pull. an offense. If, really if I'm going to pull, if I'm going to pull a special one, I want it to be an alignment. <laughs> so, uh, not to throw you under the bus here, Vernon, but look at uh, the thickness of your card, your game <laughs> patch card compared to his. That's why O linemen are more important, buddy. So that's pretty sweet, though. I like that. You've been doing really well. Jersey I know. You know, it's like, uh, awesome. you know, I don't know. Maybe the last five or six uh, packs are going to be just uh, terrible because I've used up all my luck. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see here. So, all right. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, all right. Oh boy. 
I got to pull him off to the side. So, okay, I'm going to start with this. First of all, our numbered card is Chris, the offensive lineman uh, from Montreal. We got number 49 of 165. Again, I feel like uh, this is right up my alley. All my special cards are offensive linemen, so that's pretty sweet. But the one I'm going to show you, a guy that I used to hate for a number of reasons, uh, he had a lot of bad things going for him. He's a D lineman who obviously I'm not going to be excited about that uh and he played for calgary forever uh, and then he went to sask so uh he was he's been a troublemaker for me for a long time i'm excited to get back on the field uh because he finally became a teammate of mine micah johnson now with the bc lions but uh nice. one of the best in the game and the fact when him and jagirid were playing together on the same team that just was unfair so uh pretty cool to have that one right there that's awesome well, you know, we have to open one of your cards. You got lots of cards in there. We need to get one of your cards in those last five I think packs. they're, you know, that'd be sweet. I think they're so special that they're so limited uh, that, you know. They Extremely may not, limited, uh, yeah. Yeah, they didn't want to yeah. waste them on sending them to me, apparently. But, uh, you know, that's, oh my God. that's funny that I got that one. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. We got some good ones here. All right. All right, let's see here. So uh, young QB, love to see the young QBs in the league. Dane Evans uh, stepping in for uh, Jeremiah Mazzoli last year when he got hurt um, uh, and did a fantastic job. You know, got uh, got some experience and played really well. Uh, obviously took his team to the Grey Cup. So uh, pretty cool to see Dane in there. Um, old teammate of mine, Forrest. Forrest is uh, one of the silliest people that I've ever met in my life, but also a very good player. Good to see him. And uh, we got, uh, okay, my number card, another special teamer, but a kicker this time, Rini Paraday. There he is. Look at him. Nice. Uh, and you know what? <laughs> he's, uh, he's made a lot of big, again, the Calgary guy. So he's made a lot of big kicks against me uh, over the course of his career. So it uh, seems fitting that he would be on that card for me. So pretty cool, though. Forrest Hightower. Great to see him on there. Love that guy. All right, all right, let's see, what do we got now? Oh, okay. Oh, we got a cup. Oh, look at this, we got a, oh, wow. This is a pretty good pack right here. Uh, this is pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna start out just with a former teammate of mine, a great guy, Canadian boy, Nate, Nate J. Uh, very good family friend. His wife uh, and kids are very good friends with my wife and kids, um, played a lot of football with him. Very good football player, just made the move to Toronto, which uh, puts him back closer to home. So that's exciting for him. Um, and he's got a podcast that uh, has been quite successful. So check that out. Um, our numbered card, 17 out of 165, another former team into mine, D lineman, Jake Serezna. So that's nice. cool. Uh, and if you're not excited about that, the fun doesn't end there. We have a Cody Fajardo, Brandon Banks uh, checklist <laughs> card. So look at that. Oh, Actually, sorry. Cody, I just did a video with Cody opening some cards, and uh, I'll be doing some with Brandon soon, too. Yeah, well, that's, I mean. It's very fitting that you uh, open a card with him. That's yeah. awesome. Obviously, oh, yeah, there uh, is Brandon too, yeah. is our cover athlete and well-deserved <laughs> for uh, winning the MOP last uh, season, so that's pretty cool. Cody, uh, you probably didn't open his cards quite as accurately as well as me, I, I had to guess. But uh, anyhow, that's that's a, that's a pretty sweet little card right there. That's good. I'm going to dig through all my stuff here. We still got five more packs. It's like, I don't know. Oh, nice. I don't know what other star guys you can throw in here, but I'm sure there's uh Boy, you. Some. We need to get you. <laughs> well, it goes without saying. But like you said, they're very limited. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that that just happened. This is a great, this is a great pack. This is a really great pack. I normally wouldn't throw uh, throw up here uh, a kicker um, unless he was a numbered card or something, but Lewis Ward, who uh, is, uh, he's broken a lot of records in our league early in his career so far um, and won a lot of season ending awards. I think he was special teams player of the year. Um, Canadian of the year or rookie of the year so a couple of years ago he won two of the season any awards so very good player there uh got a young quarterback Isaac Harker uh Sask that's pretty cool to see that one um and uh old teammate of mine running back Shaq Cooper from Edmonton got to throw him up there but the numbered card and it's only 32 of 50 one of my favorite people in all the CFL Sean White Whitey nice. we played 52. together 
Yeah, we played together in BC, and then we played together again in Edmonton. Um, awesome guy. And little known fact, uh, every day at practice, the first 15 minutes, we'd warm up, and uh, he would stand there and catch balls for me, even when it was freezing cold, and like you can't even feel your hands, you feel like you're going to break your fingers if you catch a ball. He would catch every pass so that I wouldn't have to do it. So appreciate you, Whitey. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> But he's also one of the most clutch players uh, that, that I've ever played with. So that's pretty sweet. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a good one. This is a pretty solid pack here. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I've played with just about everybody in this pack. Okay. All right. Start with the most important O-lineman of mine, Joel Figueroa. Big fig. <laughs> played a lot of football with him in Edmonton and in BC. Uh, he's going in my pile. Um, we have another Brandon Banks showing. This is the first time I've got just a card of his, so that's pretty sweet. Another old teammate of mine in Edmonton, another feared Hamilton defender, and another D lineman, so he's got a lot working against him. Big Ted, Ted Laurent. Um, he's one of the best in our game as well. And our numbered card out of 50, 46 out of 50, D lineman in Edmonton, uh, ex-teammate of mine, Mike Moore. So, nice. That was quite the pack, man. I feel like I could just feel the weight of that pack before it opened. It was just heavier, you know. So heavier than all the others. <laughs> big Big Ted might have had a lot to do with that, along with Biggs. You know, it's just a lot of weight in that pack. But that, that was some good players. That was, that was a good one, man. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Wow, we got a lot of good stuff here too, man. It's like I'm saving the best for last, which is crazy because we started off hot. All right. Uh, I'd have to put him up there. Big boy. Great guy. Great football player. Almondo Sewell. Uh, much like Ted Laurent, one of the most terrifying. I, I feel like every D lineman that just is scary to play against, I've pulled out of here. Um, so that's the way it goes. Uh, Got to throw him up here. John Ryan, Canadian boy. Uh, came back to the CFL after a long storied career in the NFL. I live in Seattle, you know, so he, he's a well-known name here in these parts. I've played for the Seahawks, but uh, it's good to have him in our league last year. He was booming that ball. Um, it's pretty irritating to watch, actually, when you're playing against him. And then our numbered card, uh, wide receiver, um, Devaris Daniels, number 42 out of 165. So pretty good there. Nice. I really do well. like two. I like how uh, this is pretty cool that I've noticed the upper deck has done is that, um, you know, for guys that switch teams in the off season, obviously the most recent game footage they have is pictures of their old team Edmonton. And then it, it just shows the new team that they have uh, most recently signed with in the corner. So that's kind of cool. I like yeah, that. Upper deck does a really good job with uh, yeah. making sure they all be. Yeah. Keep proper. everything up to date. And all yeah, that. All up yeah. To date. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's cool. Is this your second last or is your your last? Second to last. Second last. Second oh, to last, man. man. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure I don't have anything hidden in here. No. Second to last one. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. That's fitting, too. Okay. All right, so uh, we've got to put him up here. Uh, fullback guy that uh, I think he's just got a great name too. Declan Cross, love watching him play football. Uh, so I just got to put him up there. But my numbered card, 19 out of 50, the guy that I've played a ton of football against. I've probably thrown a couple of touchdowns over him. I've probably also thrown a few interceptions to him. Jamar Wall for Calgary. Nice. Uh, so that's a, that's a pretty good one right there. I can tell you right now, you, you be, you've beaten Cody on the cards out of 50. I think he only Yeah, that's not shocking. Three, three, that's yeah. not shocking. Sure I, I beat him on that. that. <laughs> this is live right, back, back. back mojo. All right. Let's see what your cards are. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, we do have some good – we got some good stuff in here. Okay. So, first of all, again, O-Lyman, my favorite, Dan Clark. Um, got to put him up there. Uh, Justin Medlock is one of, uh, one of the premier punters in our league and has been for a long time. Um, uh, and did, doing both duties actually with field goal kicking as well. Um, I remember him mostly when he's in Hamilton because of how crazy windy that stadium gets. 
I was always like, man, that place would suck to be a kicker in. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Justin wears earplugs uh, when he plays, which I always thought was very interesting. Oh, really? um, Ed Ganey, again, I played a lot of football against Ed. Um, I don't remember what year it was, a couple years, 17 or 18, something like that. Um, he ended up, uh, he, gosh, he was on fire picking the ball off. He had like three interceptions in one game. Uh, finished close to double digits. I, well, I guess I could uh, tell you right here. 2017, he had 10 interceptions. So, oh, wow. um, yeah, pretty, pretty great season and a good player. And uh, a guy that for some reason can't make his mind up if he wants to play in Hamilton or Edmonton because he's gone back and forth, but he's uh, one of the best linebackers in our league. He is my numbered card, uh, number 94 out of 165, Larry Dean. Larry Dean uh, started out in Hamilton, spent uh, last season back in Edmonton, and now he is uh, going to be in Hamilton once again. So pretty cool. Pretty oh, awesome, awesome set of cards there, man. That was uh, I think that really was a lot of fun. Box. Yeah, I, think I did. Great. You know what? That was, that was a lot of fun and uh, brought me back to my childhood. I, uh, awesome. So I used to have a paper out when I was a kid because um, I had to earn money if I wanted to be able to spend it. And so I had a paper out and I had a lawn mowing business. And uh, one of the highlights uh, was when I'd saved up enough money I could ride my bike down to the, uh, the sports memorabilia shop and buy a couple packs of cards and just hope somehow, some way that I would be able to crack open uh, an, a sweet Dan Marino card because that's what <laughs> I, that's all I ever wanted was Dan Marino cards. That's but, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you very much, Mike. I really appreciate you joining me and doing this. And uh, just to close out, do you mind showing off your great cup rings there? Well, I don't ever really wear them out. Um, I don't even know if I can find them. Oh, they're right here, oh, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just <laughs> I don't think it's there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these, are, these are pretty sweet. Now, the BC one was the first one ever, obviously. it's This rectangle makes it massive, but it's also kind of uncomfortable to wear because it's just so big and it digs into your other fingers. Uh, but it's 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 a showstopper. It's pretty awesome. That's but pretty obviously, awesome. I'm... I'm partial and my favorite uh, is the uh, Eskimo one that we won back in 2015. Um, thought they did a fantastic job with it, but both are keepsakes, obviously, that uh, will go get passed down to my girls down the road. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, I'll be able to add a couple more to the collection. Um, well, I can only imagine if I add more rings to the collection, my wife is going to want to have more kids to be able to pass the ring on to. <laughs> so it's kind of like a uh, bittersweet give and take. But uh, yeah, so right now we're two for two. So that's pretty good. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate you joining me and uh, good luck next season. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. This was a blast. Awesome to see all these fantastic players. Uh, again, the defensive guys. Uh, I'll hold your cards close, but on the field, just stay the hell away from me. That's all I ask. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Yeah, Have a good thank day. Thank you. You Bye. too.